Hi guys, welcome back to Besame. My name is Shernet Smith and today I will be reading you a story called Keep Your Feet on the Ground. Keep Your Feet on the Ground. Sissy lived with her grandmother up on the mountain where they had a little farm. They grew some corn and yam and had one cow. The cow usually gave them enough milk to put in their cocoa and porridge or perhaps to make a pudding and there would also be a little to sell to the other farmers on the mountain. But whenever there was a great deal of rain and the grass was rich and green, there would be more than enough milk. Then Sissy would carry this milk in a large pan on her head to sell it in the village. The surface of the road leading down to the village was rough. Sissy was used to it, however, just as she was used to carrying the pan of milk safely on her head. Besides, she always enjoyed going to the village where things seemed more exciting and life looked much easier than up on the mountain. Sissy thought her life was hard because she had to do all the work on the little farm. Her old grandmother could not do much as she could hardly see any more and walked with a stick. Sissy would often dream of what it would be like to move down from the mountain and live in the village. Can you imagine how exciting it would be to live in the village, Granny? She would say sometimes. We could have electric lights and hear music on a radio. Then her grandmother would shake her head and reply, That is not all to life, girl. Take care not to fly past your nest. Sissy would just laugh. I don't want to fly, Granny, she would answer. I just want to live in the village. At other times, she would say, I wish we could live in the village, Granny. All the important people live there. You should not talk like that, girl, her grandmother would reply. You must not put value on things like that. Learn a lesson from those who are too proud. Remember, the higher you climb, the greater the fall. But Granny, Sissy would laugh and say, we are already high on the mountain. We could hardly climb higher. It seemed that Sissy did not want to understand any of the things her grandmother was trying to tell her. She just thought that her grandmother was getting very old and could only remember some foolish old-fashioned sayings. Her grandmother realized this, and so she would say, Dreaming is not a bad thing, Miss Sissy. Just remember, when you dream, keep your feet on the ground and don't lose your head. Then Sissy would run off laughing and shaking her head like a little goat. Look, Granny, she would shout. My head can't drop off. I can't lose it. You can laugh, you foolish girl, her grandmother would reply in a serious voice. Perhaps one day, when you shake your head, you will lose it. One day, when the grass was rich and green on the mountain, Sissy set out for the village. She was feeling so happy that she sang a little tune. The sunlight was pushing its way through the branches of the trees and there were bright red and yellow wildflowers everywhere. It was a lovely day to be going down to the village. But that was not why Sissy was happy. Sissy was happy because she had a pan of milk on her head. The cow had given much more milk than usual and she had a great deal of milk to sell. She walked slowly over the bumpy road as she began to dream of what she would do with the money. When I sell this milk, she said to herself, I will get more money than we need for the things we usually buy. I will be able to get our food and oil for the lamps and I will still have money left over. So I think I will buy a hen. And after a while, there will be enough eggs for the hen to set. Soon there will be little chicks. It will be no problem to feed them, she went on. I can give them some of the corn that we grow. It is really only good enough for feeding chicken. 
then in no time at all, they will be big enough to be sold. Sissy smiled to herself as she crossed the little river that ran across the mountain road. With the money that I get from selling the chickens, I suppose I could buy some rabbits, she thought. It will be no problem to feed the rabbits. I can give them some of the grass and bush that grow on the mountain. Everybody knows that rabbits have a lot of young ones and they also have them very often. So in no time at all, I will be able to sell rabbits. In fact, there will be so many rabbits that I should make quite a lot of money. Sissy stopped under a big guinep tree and picked some guineps from a low hanging bunch. She was so used to carrying the pan of milk that she did not even have to hold the pan while she did this. As she sucked the guinep seed, she walked along and went on dreaming. With the money from the rabbits, she thought, I can buy two pigs. Everybody knows that pigs eat anything, so it will be no trouble to keep them. Of course, in no time at all, I will have a number of baby pigs. I am sure I can sell the pigs easily. I hear that there is even a factory that buys and sells the meat to people in town. Sissy had now come off the rough road and she laughed as she looked back at the mountain. I know just what I can buy with the money from the pigs, she said. I will buy some goats. Goats are just the thing to keep up on that rocky mountainside. Everybody knows that they will find grass and bush to eat, even when there is not much rain. In no time at all, I will have a herd of goats. I will be able to sell goat's milk. But most important, when I begin to sell the goats, I will really be in business. As Sissy came close to the village, she passed fields with all kinds of crops and animals. She noticed how flat the land was and smiled. I know what I will do next, she said to herself. I have decided that I will take the money that I get from selling the goats and buy a farm on this flat land. I won't have to live up on the mountainside anymore. Then I will buy two good cows. I am sure there will be enough money for two good cows. They will be nothing like that old broken down cow granny has. In no time at all, the cows will have young ones and after a while, I will have a herd of cows. Of course, Sissy went on, I will still have chickens, some rabbits, some pigs and some goats up on the mountain at granny's yard. I can move some of those down to my new farm and leave some for her. Or... Perhaps she will want to come down and live with me. Anyway, it is clear that I will be rich. I will have so many things to take to the market that I will have to get a little boy to carry them for me. In fact, she added, he might just as well work on the farm also. I will be too busy visiting people in the village to work on the farm all the time. Then, said Sissy, I will need some fine clothes in the latest fashion. I must have a skirt with lace on it and some red shoes. By this time, Sissy was walking through the village. She was almost at the market where she expected to sell the pan of milk, but she was no longer thinking of that. She was only thinking of all the things that she had imagined. She could see the farm and all the animals and her fine new clothes. Yes, said Sissy to herself. When I walk through the village in my fine clothes, people are going to be amazed. They will wonder who I am. I suppose some of them won't even realize that I used to live up on the mountain with my poor old granny. I will be so rich that I won't have to pay them any mind but perhaps I will wave to some of the more important people. In her imagination, Sissy was already the rich lady walking through the village with a little boy carrying her market baskets behind her. She smiled. 
stepped lightly in her new shoes and shook her head as she turned it suddenly to wave to the important people. Just as suddenly, she heard a terrible sound. Crash! Splash! Crash! went the pan as it fell from her head. Splash! went the milk as it rushed out and spread muddy white along the cracks in the road. As tears ran down Sissy's face, she remembered what her old grandmother often said. When you dream, Miss Sissy, keep your feet on the ground and don't lose your head. The end. Well, that was a very interesting story with a great moral lesson, wasn't it? Please let me know what you think of it in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please remember to click the thumbs up button and share it with your friends. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Bye-bye.